Is it cool of you to pretend that you don't love me by? I hear that Lucky Day song in my head. I fucks with Lucky Day. Okay. Hi. Welcome. Is it cool of me to pretend that I'm hearing that song. I'm hearing walk it like I talk it. Walk it, walk it like I talk it. So, that's the music. Man, I've been a jukebox over here. I've been a jukebox. Music is a great way that I like to use as a tool to transmute feelings that I don't be fucking understanding, knowing what to do with. But, need to let that it will help me feel better to let that shit flow so I listen to music and I noticed that I feel like I had stopped listening to music as much as I love it I feel like I had and it's just re oh you know what I was thanking the universe in the previous weeks oh this is making me think about manifestation I was thanking the universe for helping me reignite my passions because I felt like I got at a place that I didn't even feel know what the fuck I was passionate about no more. You feel me? I don't know if anybody can relate to that. That is a crazy feeling of not it's like having so many things that you felt passionate about feeling like you supposed to have it categorized or some shit. Like all kind of shit. Like no like so, I was like, thank you, universe, for re- reigniting my passions because I felt confused. You feel me? Like, what what am I passionate about? I'm passionate about feelings. I'm passionate about fucking feelings and expressing yourself and expressing the way you feel and um, helping people feel seen and heard being saints making allowing myself to showcase myself so to speak or introduce myself or share myself and not be so fucking like it's like i want to wear an invisible cloak i want to be in the room and i want to peep it i want to see what's going on and if i feel comfortable i can get comfortable with somebody in five minutes and be like super expressive but if it's like energy, I feel like I have to guess, then I just want to be the observer. I just want to pop in that motherfucker like, boop, boop. Okay, I don't know what the fuck I just said. But thank you, God, for universe, guides, ascended masters, ancestors. Thank you for guiding the divine souls that's intended to hear the words in this message today and thank you for using me in my wholeness thank you for helping me grab the best not the best but grab what's purposed grab what's purposed it's all purpose okay 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 we ain't we ain't about to go there <laughs> we ain't about to go there like just man I feel like we shouldn't have to think so hard about what we passionate about. It just come to us. We just do it. And sometimes we can try to over categorize what our passion is. Your passion can just be being nice and kind to people. Like for real, for real. That is a fruit to bear right there. But I just feel like where I'm at right now. The passion and the purpose is just being my authentic self and loving everything about that, you feel me, and sharing it with the world. Because I don't have to I don't have to be in an invisible cloak. Feel me? It doesn't matter who's looking. It doesn't matter. We we do it for our own self. 
because we deserve it. We deserve to express ourselves and leave our mark in this world. You feel me? And ain't nobody got to be standing on the sides cheering for you while you running the marathon because you running it for you. You feel me? Because you made it a, a goal for yourself to do. And that's how we should feel about expressing ourselves. And fuck who looking. Fuck who turning their nose up. I have to tell myself, fuck who cheering for, for you. After experiencing years of bandwagon fans or people that just wanted to be without. That's a whole story. And I'm not pointing the blame at no motherfucker for what I experienced. Because I manifested for me to fucking learn. On everything. I manifested them people that I felt was shysty. I manifested all the people that I felt uh, used and abused. However I may have feel. It's so, and then I had to be like, make it okay for myself to even feel like I got done away. Because I'm the motherfucker that I always want to see the best in people and used to, and used to take the accountability. But it is my accountability. It all do come back to us. Okay, we're going to leave that right there. And we're going to pull some cards. Thank you, angels. Thank you for coming on here on everything. Thank you for coming on here, y'all. Whew. Okay, so if you happen to stumble on this video, show your girl some love and hit the follow button. Link tree if you want to book personals with me. I offer creative art therapy as well. So we can just do a slew of creative things and just chop it up. So, yeah, check my website out. And, yeah. Man. Is it cool? Um, I watch this. I watch another Divine Soul on TikTok. Her name is Sweetly Savage 777. She is the truth. I am so grateful. I often give gratitude for this right here. What I'm about to say. I am so grateful for the fucking healers. For the teachers. You feel me? For the prophets. For the, you know what I'm saying? The mirrors. That God done put on my path. To, that the universe that spirit that my God's led me to, to learn the shit I sh should learn to progress and not stay trapped and imprisoned in my fucking mind and emotions. You feel me? No. We're not living like that anymore. Like, this is a new fucking age. We live in for doing what makes our heart fucking sing. If it don't make your heart sing, if it don't make our heart sing, and feel good or feel how you know what I'm saying how we intend on it then it ain't for us and that's the fucking age for real for real no more over analyzing let shit be what the fuck is it is no more making up stories. No, even though you be picking up on shit, it is what it is. You feel me? Like, if we are making up stories, make it a story that feel good to you. You feel me? No more manifesting against ourselves. You feel me? Fuck that. No more manifesting against ourselves. If if we around people, if we fuck with people, even if they just are cousins, they they people we knew for twenty years. If that energy don't feel right to us, like how we want ourselves to feel, how and see that's why we gotta learn self love and self worth. Because when we find that level of self-love and self-worth, then we don't even want to be around them people no matter who the fuck they is. You feel me? Like, I don't give a fuck if you my auntie. Oh, well, bitch. It, that's self-love. You feel me? That's self-worth. So, 
Man, this the season we doing what what we feel good, cause cause when we feel good with what we do and our choices and the people we around and the habits we keep and the thoughts we have and the patterns we use, if we feel at flow with that, then that's that's the that's the path of least resistance. That's the path of path of ease. That's I think I feel like everybody has destiny, and no matter where you end up at, you're you're gonna end up there. You feel me? But the thing is, how many roads, how many lifetimes? You feel me? Are we gonna live and repeat the same lessons of the shit that was embedded in us and conditioned in us in the past? When in our hearts we don't feel that shit. Nah, fuck that. We doing what we wanna do. Thank you, Angel. On everything. And, and, and fuck who feel a way about it. Because this is what I learned. When people don't have their own self-worth, when people don't have their own self-love, they will feel a way about you doing it for yourself because that's foreign to them. You feel me? They never seen nobody put their self first and be like, nah, bitch, I ain't going out with you. You feel me? Or, nah, you can't come over here. You feel me? Or however we feel. And somebody feel a way about that, that's because they don't have that in themselves, so they cannot recognize it in, in themselves. So that's why... Man, we got to be the ones to show. Like we said, it's a new fucking age. Shit ain't going how it used to. We ain't being motherfucking people pleasers or doormats or pushovers or not valuing ourselves. No. 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 It's not in it's not in the play. It don't even feel right. On everything. I've been thanking the universe that it feels so uncomfortable to do the old shit that we used to do. So unbearably uncomfortable. Because you know when you get unbearably uncomfortable, you will talk about you going to do some shit. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm in the inside. Be feeling how you feel. Not speaking up on shit. You know what I'm saying? Then that shit gets so uncomfortable. You don't have nothing, no other response but to move. And when you move, you grow. So, on everything. Thank you, angels. Thank you. I'm not letting myself feel confused anymore because I'm trying to make logic of shit. I'm not allowing myself to feel like I need to know what's going to happen or I want to see who's going to be by my side and be real. No, bitch. I'm just going to give everything to fucking me. I'm going to give everything to me that I desire that the universe serve me. You feel me? And I'm going to be cool with right now. I don't got to figure it all out. Sometimes we got to get in a space where we don't fucking know. Where we really, really don't know. And life is so fucking un unpredictable. Anything can happen. But um, we get moved to that space because the most unpredictable, most precedent, most monumental, most superseded, your expectation of growth self is showing up. Thank you, angels. And the test be to fucking, is you going to sit here? Is you going to sit here? Is you going to be okay? Is you going to show gratitude for everything? I live with my fucking mama right now. I'm so grateful. I have I can't remember the last time I lived with somebody. Being homeless was a trigger to me. Always because I experienced a lot of homelessness in my past. With as being a child. You feel me? So when growing up, I always kind of had these conditions that I got to grind hard. I got to get money. I got to keep a roof over my son's head. And it's nothing wrong with that. 
Because I did that shit. You feel me? And I'll continue to do that shit. But sometimes we got to get in a space that's so uncomfortable that we never thought we'd go back to. To show us that we passed the test. To show us that we've transformed and turned into a whole different type of person. Because you don't even act and feel and get moved in a, in a, in a low vibrational way that you used to. You don't do that no more. And people learning from you. Thank you, Angel. I'm so fucking grateful for this moment right here. I'm grateful that I'm using my voice. I'm grateful that I'm using my voice in a way where I'm in my wholeness. Where I'm in my personal power. You feel me? Because I am confident in my authenticity. And my authenticity is how the message get out there. You feel me? In the in the in the in the in the highest healingness of vibration way. You feel me? So so be yourself and do what make you feel right and don't allow nobody and and, and you and sometimes some sometimes Thank you, angels. Hold on. Let me slow down. Hold on. Let me slow down and light this candle. You know what? I used to try to make myself feel bad because I ain't like reading books and shit. I used to make myself feel like... Sometimes I don't like talking about the past, but I feel like it's nothing wrong with talking about the past as long as you are in your power to talk to talk like that in that manner and you're not being a victim of your past and you're using your past to teach or share and, and, and you don't have any emotional charge connected to that. I feel like it's okay to talk talk about your past. But I am the person learning to not live in the in the past. But when I look at the past to feel grateful, and, and that's it, feel grateful and feel loving for myself. Woo! Tell me, are you happy? Tell me, are you happy? Tell me that you never, ever, ever 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 never ever think about me oh blast some music and sing your favorite song man blast some music and sing your favorite song blast some music and get in the mirror and twerk in that motherfucker and don't judge your fucking body bitch you got a fat ass your shit jiggle you don't need no bbl you feel me? We gonna love our bodies just how God blessed us with these vessels. We gonna love them for what the fuck they are. You hear me? <sighs> okay, let me pull a card, y'all. Because I feel like I done went down 15,000 streets. <laughs> Thank y'all for coming on here. I'm so, I feel so blessed in my heart that that was something that somebody needed to hear on here. On everything. That's what make me fight. That's what make me stand in my power when I know I'm being used as an instrument. When I know I'm being used as a tool to convey something from a space, from words that come filtered out my heart. Thank you, angels. Thank you. Thank you for showing me that myself is the purpose. <laughs> myself is the purpose. Being myself is the purpose. Come on, fire. It's my intention. It's my intention. To use this Palo Santo to clear the energy in this space. To clear the energy on these cards. Wipe them down. Y'all know how we do. Over here. And I'm not organized. And that's okay. I don't have to be organized. I like it like this. It feels good like this. 
And tell me, are you happy? Tell me, are you happy? Oh, baby. I want to go to karaoke. I want to throw my own karaoke party. That's what I want to do because it can be exclusive as fuck. That sounds like a good celebration. Like, that sounds... See, I need... No, I don't need to do nothing but what I'm doing right now. But I have a whole lot of aspirations and thoughts and I, ideas of businesses and that I know slap. And I'm putting myself in a position to thrive in that right now. And the people and the divine souls that are destined to we be teammates, you feel me? They gonna show up when it's time. Y'all see how I just flipped my mindset from lack to abundant? Thank you, angels. Right there. I don't know if anybody peeped that, but I definitely just switched my mindset in the middle of a thought from lack to abundant. Thank you, angels, because I am abundant. I always have what I need. I always have what I need in the moment. I always have more than enough, too. I have more than enough I could just share with other people. It make, it helped me feel good to share with other people, man. It helps my heart feel so tingly and good. And I'm so grateful to have that type of spirit and heart to want to help people. You feel me? And it's nothing wrong it's everything beautiful about having a generous spirit and a spirit to give and really find joy in it and not have a t intentions tied to your giving. People feel that. You feel me? It's, it's nothing I despise more than people that do stuff for intentions with money. To like to hold it over your head or none of that shit. But I'm not talking about lack right now. Fuck that. Whatever. I... I'm in a position in life where I can share all this overflow in the world. And it just come back to me. It just recycles. Thank you, angels. Okay. What I do with the Palo Santo? Okay, I already lit the Palo Santo. We're going to start with the spirit junkie and see what's on this day. Okay. So if you would like to book a personal reading with me, hit the DMs and I will be happy to help. So this is just a random collective message. If this message resonates with you, it's my intention to send healing through whatever come out to be used to send healing. If you hear the sound, sound of my voice, it's my intention for it to just relax you and help you feel peaceful. Even if the message isn't for you, it, it's healing to you. Okay, okay. Oh, oops. Uh, oops, uh, oops uh, uh. Dance today. Turn some music on and dance today. Turn some music on and dance today. And tell me if you're happy. I need to feel like one more. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Instead of taking on the fear of others, I reflect love. Right? My power lies in my peaceful presence. Excuse me. I am in sync with the flow of life, right? I can't remember if that's what we was talking about at first, but nine times out of ten, it was. 
because we were saying we doing what's in our heart we doing what's what feels right to us we fuck what people feel about it fuck who turn their nose up we ain't altering our body to look better we're not acting more proper to be around certain people we ain't acting more rich we being who the fuck we are you feel me like we are in the flow of our life this card, I am in sync with the flow of life. We are in alignment, like we were saying earlier, with our divinity doing what the fuck we please. You feel me? Doing what the fuck we please. Trusting the decisions we make for ourselves. Trusting the, the fucking decisions we make for ourselves. Because even if the, the decision we make turn out to get us an outcome that we might not have been, been looking for, it's still a fucking lesson in that fucking action. And you know what? We did it because the fuck we wanted to. You feel me? And it was purpose. And we ain't doing it for no motherfucker approval because we fuck with ourselves heavy. Heavy, 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 heavy. Like we said, we we ran the marathon. We not looking for people to cheer for us. If if people want to come along and do that, we appreciate it. Okay? But that's not what it's for. It's for us. It's for us to fucking express, enjoy, and, and co-create with the universe the life that feels the best for us. Okay? But but that's what we doing. You feel me? That's what we doing because that's what this energy is right here. But wait a minute. The other card said, my power lies in my peaceful presence. And see, this go back to what we were saying earlier. Well, where I was sharing about where the space I'm in in my life right now. Where certain situations you be in, you more peaceful. You don't get annoyed like you used to. You don't get um, impatient with with the things and the people that you used to. You feel me? So that's why sometimes God uh, set us back or we'll manifest ourselves back in a space to show ourselves how the fuck much we've grown. You feel me? And then by being in that space again and really being that peaceful person because your chaos is felt. Your rage is felt. Your, you feel me? Like I feel like the people in the spaces you in, you motherfuckers know you for that. Motherfuckers know you for <laughs> popping off because somebody got you fucked up or you wanted to express yourself, but it's like your nature is balance. Your nature is peace. And in your new upgraded self, you teaching just by displaying that. And it's teaching you about yourself, okay? I love that energy. Thank you, Angel. That energy was felt like a motherfucker. My power lies in my peaceful presence. I love peace. I love flow. I love balance. I love justice. I love truth. I love honesty. I am those things. I am everything I just listed. Everything. Thank you, angels. And you are too, divine soul. Whoever here to find my voice, you are all of that too. On everything. If you like to get a reading, follow the link tree and you can email me or DM me on TikTok. I feel like that's the easiest way. If you catch me on live doing readings and you'd like to get a personal read from me, um, yeah, just hit the DM and I'll be happy to help. Okay, we got the monology right now. Thank you, God, for directing the divine souls who whose purpose is to hear what will come out in this message. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. We feeling it. Thank you. We grateful. We grateful. Thank you, angels. So, 
we have a fiery climax approaches and look at the bigger picture okay why well, start feeling fuzzy let me wait a minute let me see how I feel real quick y'all I started feeling jittery as fuck. <laughs> I started feeling jittery off of this energy right here. So, um, I'm, I'm picking up on nervous communication. So, if you got something to say, say it with your chest, motherfucker. You feel me? I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to whatever divine soul come across this picture. I'm talking to the energy that could be coming in to approach us. You feel me? Say it with your chest. That's what I'm on. Like, say it with your chest. I, I always was very fucking outspoken and I feel like I kind of dumbed that down a little bit in the past and I feel like being peaceful don't mean dumb down your dumb down your communication in any kind of way. If you fucking speak bluntly you feel me? Speak how you speak. And I'm saying this to self right now. But whatever divine soul, come on here. If that's for you to speak how you speak. Everything about you has purpose. You feel me? And I'm thinking about last week when I was in Dollar General. And this man just walked past me. And he didn't even say excuse me. And he was all in my personal space. And I really, really, I'm really big on personal space. Before fucking all this shit where they got people wearing masks six feet. Before all that, I was really, I'm really big on personal space because I feel, I feel deeply. So if a motherfucker standing by me all breathing down my neck and shit, I be feeling that shit. So I didn't like that shit in public. I don't like it. I don't like it, period. Unless I invite you in my space. And you feel me? That's another story. You feel me? But, but I didn't say what I wanted to say. Because I, I don't... It bothered me, too. It bothered me for a second after I left. And I told myself that if, when I get in a predicting me like that i'm gonna say it even if it sounds rude to other somebody else i don't give a fuck because i'm tired of i'm not watering myself down i i i fucking show myself in my wholeness and if a motherfucker got you fucked up then tell they ass they got you fucked up if a motherfucker if you experience i want people to do me i'm so i be so i'm so mannerable i'm so old-fashioned value-ish i'm so my mama taught me better. I'm I'm so like, no. I believe I believe in respecting other people's space and that's just who I am and I'm very mannerable. But it used to offend me a lot when people wasn't that I experienced in the world. Okay, let's pull it. Let's say what this energy is. Yeah, communication. Say it with your chest. We just said that was communication. Say it with your chest, whoever got something to say. But now I'm relating this to the Dollar General episode with not tell not telling the man to say excuse me. Well not telling him but not expressing back how I felt because I felt like it was gonna be very disrespectful. And I feel like you can still be peaceful and assert yourself. In a straightforward way. But right then in that moment. I felt like I wasn't going to. I didn't even give myself the opportunity to try. Because I just know. That I was about to snap his head off. But anyway. Say what's on your mind. You feel me? Sometimes even if it do come out fucked off. It's purpose in that. So. 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 Ooh. Thank you angels. So. We need not be afraid of our fucking darkness. We need not be afraid of that. Because sometimes you got to be like, bitch, you got me fucked up. 
You feel me? And I'm saying that to self. And whatever divine souls that come across this message never feel a way about the way you need to communicate how you feel. However it came out is how the fuck it, meant, it was meant to. So don't be so... No, there's no need to be away, feeling away about yourself or what you need to say. Thank you, Angel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go to the mermaids right now. We're going to go to the mermaids. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. But let me tell you, it was so miserably uncomfortable to not let that part of me out that I next time if that happen again I'm gonna somebody's just gonna have to get cussed the fuck out because I love myself too much to hold back my expression I love myself I'm not a disrespectful person at all but bitch you 45 years old you don't know how to say excuse me to a lady when you walk past not even trying to put gender on it to a divine soul you just ooh he ain't bumped me or nothing but it was like <laughs> I'm like bitch who the fuck raised you <laughs> okay and that's the whole point that's the whole point Is being the fucking teacher when a motherfucker ain't had one. And we teach people with how we fucking feel about shit. So it ain't, don't never make yourself feel like it's a way about that. About how you express yourself. Even, even and especially when it's fiery. You feel me? Especially when it's fire. And I'm saying it's to self. Because I know my, you know what, I feel like because I know my words be felt. When I snap, crackle, pop on a motherfucker, I'll pull their whole soul out. You feel me? I put it back with my words, but it's the meltdown for me. And then I be sitting there crying by a puddle of meltdown. Because I done snatched your motherfucking soul out with my words. Because you was being like an idiot. Anyway. Let's see what these cards is talking about. Thank you, Angel. Make sure you hit the follow. I got a YouTube channel. I always put the whole live on my YouTube channel. So if you come across this video wherever and you want to check out the whole video, go to my YouTube. You can find all that in the link tree. Ask for help. Ask for help. I'm feeling like I'm feeling this with the fucking with the fucking expression energy, with the self-expression energy. You feel me? Maybe finding a coach, uh finding a healer, finding a somebody you feel like you safe with to express how you feel that can give you advice. You feel me? If you need somebody like that, that's the type of shit I do. I hate saying it like that. That's the type of shit I do. But hey, I'm being used in my wholeness. That's how I fucking communicate. And that's the shit I do. You feel me? And I'm going to give you some real straight up fucking advice from, I'm sure, a place in life that God had me before. Or I'm just going to feel you. Thank you, angels, for using me like that on everything. And sometimes the help that we seek be the fucking self-help. You feel me? The self-help is putting any any and all on you. Betting it all the fuck on your own self. Running a marathon for your own fucking self. Celebrating your own self. You feel me? Doing the things that make you more healthy and, and more heard. And Okay, self. Come through self. The, the Doing the things that make you feel celebrated for yourself. And what makes you feel celebrated is just fucking showing up in your wholeness and expressing it. And not caring no more. You feel me? So ask for help. Go with the flow at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we're going to pull one more from the um, answer simple oracle. I'm going to pull one 
Mo from the Answer is Simple Oracle. Okay. So if you was on here, thank you for being on here. Sometimes I be talking. I be trying to read the comments, but I feel like when I read the comments sometimes, they throw me off of the message. It, it switch me. I don't know if it be I be feeling the other person energy when I start reading, but it like distracts me from what I'm doing in the message. So I really appreciate you being there. And I'm working on my communication. Maybe that maybe I'm not supposed to communicate like that when I do readings. You feel me? So I I'm accepting that too. Um, but I would I don't like to let make people feel like I'm ignoring them because I'm not. And sometimes I be on here practicing talking to people when I'm reading, but I just feel like I'm in a flow right now and I really can't. I don't want to. You feel me? So if you real if you wanna hook up with me, I'm here to help. Hit the link tree on everything, and I got you. And your reading probably be fit. Man, when I go in on reads, I just go with whatever I pull. And it be at least three cards. Three cards could take, ain't no telling how long when this brain get going. Okay. Man, ain't this the energy we, we was just fucking saying on everything? What's the last card that came out? I'm going to have to put it on the replay after this. But it said, it said, ask for help. That's what the last card was out the mermaids, right? So then, out of this deck, we have invest in your spirit, number 45. And then, 52, seek a fucking expert. So, yeah, just what the fuck we were saying. If you feel like you want, you it'll help you. And, 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 and sometimes seeking the outside help is the self-help. You feel me? Because you took the fucking initiative to invest in yourself. You feel me? To want better for yourself. On everything. Please believe I understand the the feeling of feeling like you don't nobody knows what you're talking about or nobody understands what you're talking about or nobody give a fuck what you're talking about and sometimes a lot of times majority of the times it's very healing it's very healing to our spirit and progressive to our soul when we just seek sometimes that help ain't who you think it should be majority of the other time the help ain't who you think it should be we manifest, we align ourselves with the type of help when we want it. When we want it. So so I'm feeling like utilize utilize your resources. You feel me? Invest in yourself. Show yourself self-love by investing in your fucking self. You deserve to be. I feel like it's this surrounds communication. This surrounds expressiveness. Because that fiery climax card came out earlier. So be yourself. Shine that in the fucking world. Even the darkness too. That's what I be on. Because I know. I know. Who I am. And I'm not shrinking myself again. I confidently show who I am. Because the fuck I want to. And fuck who give a fuck about it. The affirmation for today. Fuck who give a fuck about it. <laughs> On everything. I be trying to. I be um, really trying to focus my attention. On speaking in a way that. Sounds more abundant. And is being more abundant. When I say fuck what a motherfucker got to say. When I choose that phrase over choosing an affirmation like I, I am abundant, I am confident, which one you think is the one that's more vibey? I feel like the I am abundant, I am confident because it's about what we put in our focus on is what we attract. So if we say fuck something or if it's a... um anti-rally let's let's use this for example it's a i learned this from abraham hicks you should watch her because her messages really resonate with my spirit um she's dope wait a minute because i'm about to get off of here thank you angels what the fuck was i just about to say 
Oh, when we speak or, or focus our words on the opposite thing we trying to, or the more resistant thing, then that's what we attracting. So we can say fuck something, or we can say no more. It could be take a um. You know how people have jobs and they be protesting against their jobs and stuff. Uh, no more overtime. No more overtime. No more overtime. Every day, walking around the block screaming, no more overtime. That's what the fuck they attract still to come. Even if it don't come with that business, they can leave that business and it'll come with the next business. So just see, I'm using that as an example of the way we speak and how we can self, divine soul, speak in a more abundant way. So, no, I don't want to say fuck what a hater got to say. or fuck. I want to focus on saying I am confident. I do me. You feel me? Like, I express myself authentically. I'm going to get a massage, baby. I'm going to get a motherfucking massage. You heard me. Do some self-care. Invest in yourself. The investment can be going to get a massage. The investment can be going to get a pedicure. You feel me? Like, you deserve that shit. I don't give a fuck what bill got to get done. Got to get paid. Our self-care come before bills. We going to have bills when we leave this motherfucker. It's going to be a bill for somebody to pay for us. You feel me? We deserve it. I'm not saying be reckless with your finances, but it's okay to treat yourself. You feel me? Don't be like, I got to pay this next week so I can't go get a massage or go get a manicure or something. Nah, fuck that. You deserve it. We abundant. We just need, we should just focus on right now. You feel me? We overflowing right now. We overflowing. We can't worry about tomorrow because we living in this moment and we got it in this moment and we going to have it when we get to that moment too. But that moment is even shouldn't even be a concern to us. You feel me? So, go hard for yourself. Go hard for yourself. You feel me? Go extra. Do extra for yourself. Go overboard. For yourself. Because you fucking deserve it. On everything. Okay, I'm about to get off of here, though. I appreciate your energy for coming on here, engaging with me. I'm thankful that this message reaches the divine soul it's intended to reach. And it's healing to them. And again, if you come across this video, be sure to hit the link tree. Follow me. I'm trying to get my followers up. You know, I'm letting it happen organically, but I also am aware that... I should put myself out here. I shouldn't be afraid to ask like that card that came out earlier. You feel me? Ask for help. Message. Message, bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's okay to ask. I'm putting it out to the universe. It could be zero people on here. And I can say, universe, divine soul, thank you for your support on everything i appreciate it for following my page and have an amazing day I, it's my intentions to come on here more it is what it is i'm flowing through life i'm just being and i'm grateful to be used in moment to moment okay that's it deuces thank you so fucking much that mean a lot that you even said thank you i love you you made my heart tingle because i really didn't even know it was somebody right there thank you Go off camera!